Okay, this is going to be a quick overview of MX Linux 16.1 Metamorphosis, I think that's what it's called. Right there, yep, 16.1 Metamorphosis. It's a, a really interesting beginner's Linux distribution. What makes it really interesting is all the MX tools that are included with it. Right here. You have the live USB maker, snapshot, boot repair, menu editor, user manager, a um, whole bunch of like, if you want to change the default look, you can make it, uh, let's see, dark theme, apply that, everything becomes darker. It's a customized XFCE for a desktop. Um, with a whole bunch of uh, tools that are really great for helping, uh, especially new users. If you want to install packages, it's got all the popular packages here. Audio packages, browsers, I've already installed Google Chrome. Uh, you got Opera available, a bunch of lighter uh, web browsers are included as well. And uh, just a whole bunch of really, uh, some of the more popular um, Linux software that's available. You've also got, of course, a Synaptic Package Manager. Let's see, in System. Um, where is it? You're able to also, before I get to that, uh, if you have NVIDIA drivers, you have an installer here, it makes it really simple. It's got the same thing for the AMD. Uh, yeah, I can't find it right now, but anyways, it's when it's in the tools thing. There's your Synaptic Package Manager. Of course, enter in your password. And you've got everything that uh, is included in Debian. This is, of course, a Debian-based distribution. It's not based on Ubuntu. It's based on Debian. But it's one of the... Uh, one of the simpler... Linux distributions that I've seen that is a Debian based one. Installation is really easy. Let me see here. I've got uh, here's the video I made of the installation when I installed it on uh, VirtualBox. It's a really simple installation. We'll play it for a bit. Let's try to speed this up. This one I booted from it. Okay. Loading the desktop. Move forward a bit. See, it took a little while for it to, to boot in VirtualBox. I don't have the most powerful computer in the world. Okay, let me go back a little bit here just to show you how this installer works. Oh, there's the installer. You click on that. Click on next. Okay, here would be where you would, if you have a, a Windows, uh, darn, I went a little bit too far there, but if you have a Windows and you want a dual boot, you would run the partition tool, which basically runs gparted, but then you would modify your partition, set one aside, then you could have it uh, install on the existing partitions. Since I was installing it on VirtualBox, I just had it run the whole disk auto install using the entire disk so it is a little bit easier if you don't you know I would kind of encourage people to move away from Windows anyways but uh, if you must use Windows you can always dual boot with it um, there it is formatting let it run I think it took me about 10 minutes to install it's not really that long it installs and it's near the end that you set up your user account Right now it's just copying everything over to the disk. Still copying. Let's see, I think it was around five or six minutes. Yeah, it got to the end here. Excuse me. There's a lot of kids playing around outside. I don't know if you can hear that or not. At 95%. I'm not going to jump ahead because it's almost there. Yeah, 99. 
as you can see I'm six and a half minutes in that's all it took to install now you install the bootloader master boot record I clicked yes here takes a couple of minutes for it to do its thing still installing I'll let it run through we can it doesn't take that long so let it run through anyways this is uh, one of the uh, I would highly highly recommend this distribution especially for a beginner but even you know for more experienced users if, if you enjoy using Debian this is a really quick easy install of Debian with a whole bunch of uh, some of the more popular software already installed pretty sure it comes with LibreOffice yeah you got a full LibreOffice suite uh, multimedia I of course installed Simple Screen Recorder which I'm using right now to uh, record this internet it comes with Firefox as a default browser but as I showed you earlier oh let's just get back to here okay here I am just installing a username or a computer name sorry domain uh, setting up my time zone the clock I wanted it to use 24 hour format I of course I'm in Eastern Canada so I uh, hit the Toronto time zone click next I went to see, just to see for all the uh, services that uh, you can adjust for auto start or not. I didn't really mess with anything, but I just want to see what was there. Click next. Click next again. And you send up set up your user, username, password, root password. And that's basically it after that. I'll let it run through while I'm typing in the passwords. Uh, probably not a good practice, but I basically use the same password for root and for my user account. Probably not the best thing to do, but I find it just simpler to have the one password. You can encrypt your home partition. Uh, if you made any changes during the live desktop, you can have it save those uh, changes uh, when it installs click the next button there and that's basically it you're finished and you're ready to reboot so I'm not going to go through the whole reboot uh, that I did here but uh, that is basically the install this is basically the desktop as I was showing really nice uh, wallpaper wallpaper I really like it your login screen has the same image but it's in black and white once you come to the uh, desktop it turns into color really nice really simple to use uh, XFCE you can of course use the panel put it up top or bottom do it do as you want there's a lot of customizations if you just look at the uh, settings here you can see there's a bunch of things you can change and sounds default look you have your MX tools which I showed you earlier go through it again just to give you a good idea AMD driver installer Nvidia driver installer Codex installer if you want to have your mp3s and whatnot to be able to play um, yeah it's a really really great distribution highly recommend it um, I guess there's nothing more to say so I'll sign off here thanks for watching